what's up? I am Michelle B and in this video I want to talk about how you can keep the New Year's buzz going. There is not a single person watching this video that doesn't know the struggle of not being able to stay on track with their New Year's resolution, a goal that they set after their birthday, a vague intention that they made on a Monday. Instead of reading your 30 pages of a motivational book every afternoon, you might find yourself watching Pretty Little Lies instead. The camera that you bought yourself for Christmas to make YouTube videos with has really only been used to take a variety of selfies and some high definition photos of your cat. So in this video I'm going to walk you through some practical things that you can do to stay on track for the new year. Whether you're writing a book, learning a new language, creating a YouTube channel, whatever the goal might be. This video is sponsored by my favorite learning website Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 17,000 classes in things like design, photography, public speaking, creating a blog. Premium membership gives you access to high quality classes from genuine experts working in their field. So these are people that you would probably recognize as opposed to just sort of random people teaching random classes. You can use Skillshare to improve your knowledge, work on your learning goals for the new year, take on a new project for 2018. I'm going to link a few courses that I really enjoyed in the description below because I know you guys have asked for that from me before. A course that I did semi recently is by a guy named Adam J. Kurtz. I followed him on Instagram so when I saw that he had created a Skillshare class I was like stop. So that one was on personal branding and you got really involved and did a lot of hands-on exercises. I'll link that one in the description below too. And those are the kind of people that you see on Skillshare. It's just really cool to see like artists that you recognize and experts that you know. It's also a more affordable learning platform than most learning platforms. It's $10 a month for an annual subscription. And by using the link in the description below, you can get the first three months for 99 cents, but that only is lasting until the end of January. So make sure to click through on that link if you want to sign up. So if you have a learning goal or any other goal, here are some practical tips for staying on track and keeping that New Year's buzz going. Probably the most important thing is to set yourself a guilt-free goal review session every every quarter, every week, every month, whatever works for you and your schedule. I think so often the issue is that people just forget about their goals. They set a whole bunch of goals, they have all this excited energy, and then a few weeks in they're kind of like, ooh, yeah, that's a thing that I wanted to do that I never really got to. So you can avoid that feeling altogether by setting yourself genuine dates. So these are dates that are unavoidable. It's a really good idea to set these dates with someone that you know, someone that cares about your progress, maybe someone that's working on their own goals, it could be a family member. So when you do your review session, have yourself set questions like, are these goals still things that I really care about? Have I set too many goals and they're getting overwhelming? Do I need to cut a goal out? Have I picked things that are actually going to get me to where I want to go? And make sure to make those sessions guilt-free. So show some self-compassion. Beating yourself up for not achieving a goal is probably what's hindering your success the most. Studies have shown pretty repeatedly that if you are beating yourself up for something, you're going to be less motivated and you're going to have less self-control. These are two things that you kind of need to be able to stay on track with your goals. Whereas if you're kind and you're supportive with yourself, which yes, is a total mindset shift, you're far more likely to stay on track. So an example of how beating yourself up actually hinders your progress. Let's say you set a goal to read a book a week at the start of the year. At some point, you kind of forgot that that was a thing. It didn't really stick to it. And you feel disappointed with yourself. Then you start pushing the goal out of your mind altogether because every time you think about it, you feel bad. You don't think about how you could get yourself back on track. You don't think about what you could do differently as opposed to a thought pattern that actually involves some self compassion. You set a goal to read 100 books a year, you get to the end of the month, you've only read two books, in your mind you think, you know what, there are a lot of people who don't stick to their New Year's resolutions, this is very normal. I've had a really busy month, I'm going to sit down and reevaluate this goal and see if it's actually right for me. Do I need to read 100 books in a year? Should I pick just the most high quality books in a certain field and read those in the year? And then spend time actually implementing those books into my life. With a little bit of self compassion comes some self reflection and maybe don't stay on track with your original goal, but you end up achieving something by the end of the year rather than just pushing it out of your mind because you feel guilty. So my next practical tip for staying on track with your goals is to actually track your progress. People who monitor the behavior generally do better. For example, a study with 1700 participants showed that keeping a food diary doubles your chance of weight loss. So in an ideal world, you're only trying to achieve one thing at a time. So for me right now, every day I write in my little journal app, which has recently replaced my small notebook that you guys would have seen before. I'm trying to get it all digital. I write down whether I've written my 1,000 words a day or not. This actually isn't something I went out to do intentionally. I just track my wins at the end of the day and one of my consistent wins is writing that 1,000 words. And when I don't have the ability to write down wrote 1,000 words a day, I'm like, no, like I rely on that feeling of accomplishment writing that down. And my last very practical, very actionable tip that you can do straight away if you're on your phone is to fill your social media feeds with the right people. If you want to run, follow people who run. If you want to eat healthy, follow people who eat healthy. If 
you want to dance more in the next year. Follow people who are dancing a lot. This is a really good one for people who just forget their goals, that just don't seem to remember that they set goals at the start of the because year. Because every time you refresh your social media feeds, you'll see people who are doing the things that you really want to do and you'll have that thought in the back of your head of, oh yeah, that's something that I wanted to achieve in 2018. So those are my tips for staying on track with your New Year's resolutions, keeping that New Year's buzz going for the entire year. Don't forget to check out the link to Skillshare. It is 99 cents for the first three months up until the end of January if you use that link. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you soon.